Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have been working on the Capybara sticker design for a while, and today I am finally able to show you all these cute stickers. Throughout this video, I will show you how I make them, from drawing them in Pokery to cutting them out on Cricut. The drawing style for Capybara stickers is different from what I used to do. Capybara is so laid back and friendly. That's why I'm so obsessed with them. I want them to look cute in my drawing. I imported my sketches into Procreate, outlined the sketch in purple, and then colored the shape with a texture brush. I'm only showing a few clips of the drawing process. If you want to see a full coloring process, you can watch the previous video I upload. I color one of the capybara stickers in that video. I'm drawing a set of stickers. Each set will have at least one capybara and some items related to the theme. I draw a bouquet of flowers for this cute couple. I rarely use outlines on the drawing. I mainly use shadows to show the details. I'm making two sizes of sticker sheets. This one is a little smaller than half letter. Then I'll make a smaller version about 3 by 4 inches. I save the stickers as a PNG file. Then save the background as a JPEG file because I'm using a solid color background. Import the files into Cricut Design Space. Resize the files to 4 by 6 inches. Then I want to change the corners of the background paper to round corners. Go to shapes in the left sidebar. Select the square code shape. Enlarge the shape to the same size as the background paper. Place it on top. With both files selected, click on Slice and Cricut will cut off the corners for you.
This is my first sticker sheet and I want Krika to cut the background paper three times and cut the stickers only once. Select three layers of background paper, align them center, then attach Position the stickers on top and click attach. I also attach two sticker sheets together so they both stay on the same cutting mat. Before I send it to the printer, I want to adjust the system dialog setting. Turn this on, press print, then a small window will pop up. Your system dialog page may look different from mine due to different models or brands, but this should be an option for you to set paper type and print quality. I'm using the Epson Echo Tank printer. Under Media and Quality, change the media type to the paper type you are using. I'm doing my text print on a matte paper. To get a better print quality, I select Photo Matte Paper and make sure select Best for quality. Now we are ready to print the stickers. I don't know why there's an extra line at the bottom, but it didn't affect the cutting. The stickers came out much darker than I expected. I can barely see the texture of the stickers. I set the cutting material to 20 pound paper with standard pressure. Oops. A standard matte paper is a bit too thin for this, and there were a few spots that were cut through. For my second try, I changed the media type to plain paper. I know this is not an optimal choice, but based on my experience, other matte paper options like cold paper will give the same quality as photo matte paper. So plain paper with the best quality might do the job. I continue to use 20 pound copy paper with default pressure. Even with best quality, the color is still too light, but I love the texture showing on the sticker. So I will keep trying this print setting until I'm completely satisfied with the color. I go back to Procreate, duplicate the drawing, select the layer on top, change the filter from normal to multiply, and reduce the opacity to about 20%. The layer on top will add some saturation to the original layer. For other drawings, I keep the duplicated layer at 50% normal. I want to do a comparison between these two methods. I used vinyl matte paper for this print. The color came out much better. A little more vibrant than the second print. I also increased the size of the sticker sheet. This one is about 4.25 by 6.25 inches. 
it still fits in the envelope. This vinyl sticker paper is a little thicker than the standard matte paper. The cutting mold is perfect for this one. I recommend cutting the background paper three times. If you don't know which cutting material to choose on Cricut, you can check the thickness of the paper you are using and choose the same type paper material on Cricut with default pressure. The color is better but not the best. This capybara sticker needs more contrast between the capybaras and the stones. I duplicated the layer for each sticker, then changed the filter from normal to multiply, set opacity to 40, 45 or 50. There we go everyone, this is exactly what I want. Here are some stickers that I will use to decorate the packaging for my orders. It's a simple drawing of my cat. If you are struggling with the color quality like I was, you can try what I just showed you. Adjust the color with the filter on a duplicated layer. I prepared the files for the small sticker sheets on Cricut Design Space. Using the same format and settings as for the large sticker sheets. There are 8 small sticker sheets in total. Each sticker sheet has additional stickers that are not showing on the large ones because there's not enough space to fit them all. I will show you what's on each smaller sticker sheet. Please comment below with any suggestions or let me know which sticker you like the best. I'd love to know what you think about my Capybara stickers. I hope this video gives you an idea of what's behind the making of sticker sheets. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, see you next week.